Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. The White Wolf. Come back for a game sometime. Okay, let's see what's down here. Piss off. Okay, I haven't explored this part of the city. The White Wolf? I can't believe it! Leave me alone! Magic, I tell you! Shatter your tower! It's a brazen attack! King Radovid will learn of this! Burn your audacity! Turn away the black! And the bat, the owl, and the rat! 
This would never happen if the Conclave still existed. And if Grandma had a moustache, she'd be a cat. May the Triple Goddess watch over you. Okay, so this is the quest item that we crafted. It really has a nice stats. And it kind of looks magey, if you know what I mean. Where is Philippa? She should reason with this brat. She should pull down his pants and give him a thrashing in front of all those knights. It's that albino again. Okay, so I guess we have no other choice but to talk to Roach. Ready for your chat with Radovid. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Then everyone is wrong. Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. We bring Radovid news that will strengthen his position during the talks. Care to risk his wrath? Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm. Pass, then, if your news is so important. But one word from the King and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. Tameria stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terms with Kedwin. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. I take pleasure in seeing Kedwin picked apart. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos. So you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. Where the hell are my pants? I don't like it here. Oh, hey! What's he doing here? Ah, ah. Very well. Let's keep an eye on him. Quiet greetings. Mm. 
Did you request an audience with the king? Yes. The king will receive you. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Vernon Roach is a friend. He's in uniform, sure. But that's meaningless. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Temeria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Ponsar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. Henselt was butchered in Vergen. Why did you bring the Knights of the Order here, Your Majesty? The Order of the Flaming Rose is here to ensure that the talks remain peaceful. We wish to avoid a second Thanet. What's the delegation from Nilfgaard doing here? Henselt invited them. Before he died. Shillard Fitzestelen would never miss an opportunity like this one. He'll come to the talks and stage his favorite drama. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensalt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? I killed a would-be assassin. Pure coincidence, I just happened to be there. Things like that oft seem to happen to you. Do you know how he died? Okay, so in Enhanced Edition, you can't persuade the Radovid. I don't know if this is intended or a bug, but if you really want to persuade him, there is a mod online which will allow you that. But since I'm not using any mods, I simply can't do this. So let's go by telling him the truth. Yes, I was there. Speak then. And now we can persuade him. I killed him. Henselt had Roach's unit murdered. I can't call it anything else. In doing that, he signed his own death sentence. When he was looking for Saskia in Vergen after the battle, I cornered him in a hut and I killed him. What about Deathmold? He followed orders and deserves the same. Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. There are no consequences for these actions, so there's no need to worry. We're fine. Who's representing Kedwin? Only the sorcerer Deathmold and his men are in Loch Muin. But Deathmold represents himself. If Temeria is in turmoil, then who has arrived to represent it? Constable Natalis, the hero of Brenner, which is good. His presence is like a slap on Shillard's face delivered by the North. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? We killed one of them in Edern. Deathmold used his magic to give me a glimpse of the past. I saw the assassin talking to others. They spoke of Sheila. One mage's magic shows another's guilt. And it's no ordinary magic, but the forbidden path of necromancy. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelen warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Temeria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. 
Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Divide Temeria. Shame on the traitors. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After Foltest's death, the Lavalettes came to prominence. Louisa's uncle, Baron Orval, became one of the most important people in Temeria. He wanted to see Anais on the throne, but Vizima was still in turmoil. They sent her to Loch Muin anyway to declare her queen before the entire north. During the journey, the girl was kidnapped. Arian Lavalette asked me to use my connections to find his sister, which I did. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Death Mold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kudwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt, and I'll salvage a united Temeria, and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian King's blood. I heard Arian died in the fire that consumed Lavalette Castle. We all thought so, and we were all wrong. The girl is most important, Witcher. I would look after her, take her back to Tretagor in Redania, where she would mature under the caring gaze of her half-sister and my wife Ada. When she's of age, she can claim the throne and thus guarantee Temeria's sovereignty. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. An alliance with Redania is our only chance at preserving Temeria's independence. It's still risky. Anais, she's the key. I still wonder about Busi's death. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmold. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. This is no place to talk. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate. Back, crow, summit wide. Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Papabrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another vess? This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Foltest's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously I was wrong, but I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Busi is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that get you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. 
It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Faltist's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all. Geralt, I need to look to Anais, learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Boosie. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. All right, Roach. I'll help you this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedwenny camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida, learn what you can. I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. Which way are we headed? We shall leave Lop Muin through the Order's camp. We won't be bothered there. Then we'll descend the mountain path and go onto the river. Who knows what we'll find? Expecting I remember you Does from Vizina. Does did mention the Vipers, the Count and the Baron. Maravel and Kimbolt. Powerful men. Important in the Temerian camp. And the scrupulous. The Vernon's mentioned them. I guess I have them to thank for an interesting chat lunch I had a while back. Know them well. Too early to cry, Witcher. I'll not let you pick my brain and abandon me. Where they're likely to be waiting. Roche would say they'd be waiting along both paths. Where are you going? Come back! Roach, you're with me, not him, and I decide for myself. I've agreed to meet someone on the riverbank. We'll go through the wood. Calm thus far. Your dear Roach seems to have been wrong. You two have a history. Or do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Faltist's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Muin for the summit. <laughs> yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. Oh, we can abandon her. That's a nice choice. Roaches, bitch! Kill them! Fire and blow! 
blood! Tamaria is like a haystack, and the information I have is a burning torch. Fill the rest in for yourself. Damn it. Stallions vibrating. Okay, so we got two swords, which are pretty badass.
How many more can there be? This is the smuggler I spoke of. This was the smuggler you spoke of. Someone's coming. You'll not sail off, you whore! Killer!
Thank you. I'd not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. And you don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Who's out to kill you? I don't know. There you go again. Truly, I cannot be sure. At first I thought it was revenge for the children. But he knows I'm no traitor. It's not Roach. We both know that. Yes, yes. You're right. Tell me about the Vipers. They... they created this storm. Are they working together? I would say they detest one another. Oh, that's what they wish everyone to believe. It's the devil only knows. What does Baron Kimbold want? A strong Temeria, and a strong North. He's obsessed. He believes we're surrounded by rebels and traitors. The Lavalettes, the Maravels. He's probably not alone in that belief. But he is alone in believing that he himself is the remedy for that ailment. The Baron sees himself on the Temerian throne. He claimed he would achieve this by marrying Anais. Isn't she a little young for him? He's a disgusting old setter. He'd be a tyrant were he to don the crown. You know what the Count intends? No, but I cannot imagine anyone more different from Baron Kimbolt. Meaning? I would call him a sheep were his heart not black. He's a jester, an especially nasty one, though I cannot identify his master. He may not even have one. Seems you got to know the Baron and the Count well. Then there's Roach. Pretty interesting social life, I'd say. Being a courtier, that was no life for me. I thought it terribly dull and found a remedy. Searching for excitement shouldn't get you killed. It's the last time I do anything of the sort. You can't be sure of that. Is Vernon the only person you do favors for? I've never betrayed Temeria, if that's what you ask. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander, a change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turnoff, we were attacked. The attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. He was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Boosie's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anais still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. They merely grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I have them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor.
Regards. Greetings. Greetings. Regards. Greetings. Regards. Blessed be the. Regards. Greetings. Regards. Regards. I shall. Regards. May the eternal fire light your way. Renouncing witchery and repent. Regards. 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 I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? I have it. Show me. I need you to promise. What? That I'll get the letter back. I tire of your tone, Witcher. Damn. So be it. I pledge to return the letter to you. I merely want to see this original with my own eyes. It is my seal, but the hand is forged, sloppily. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. We are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Tamerian noble, and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. All right. I'll see what this scribe has to say. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. But the scribe is wasted. Calling me sauced. Drunker than a nah. barn. Won't get anything out of him. Of Maybe there's something about like testing letters in his woman. notes. Light, quench, shit, rinse. Young alchemist, calling me sauced. Nah. According to the scribe's notes, if this is Kimbolt's letter, the paper it's written on was treated with an invisible dye. An activator should bring out the dye, turning the paper blue. Now for the activator's formula. Better try it on some drafts first. Let's... Young Alchemist! Save... And go with Baron's letter. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. Okay, so first we need to add lime. A little burnt lime. 
Then we need water. A bit of water. Then this. Everything's better with a dash of bird guano. And finally, this one. Wait for it to dissolve. Smells like piss, but it worked. The sheet's orange, not blue. The letter's fake. Kimbolt had nothing to do with this. You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yeah. Yes, all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Ween, his people began visiting the Nelfgaardian camp regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the Ambassador without chagrin and openly, as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Natalis. You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. How do I locate this messenger? Look for my man, Aldridge, by the fountain here in the camp. He'll point the mage out to you. You need a witcher to do this? Do not underestimate Count Maravel. He does not employ common scoundrels, and I don't intend to either. Hieronymus Lash. Sound familiar? A pretentious, invented name. Belongs to a bard or a mummer, I'd say. But you wouldn't need my help with either of those, so I'll venture a guess. Merivelle entrusts his correspondence to a mage. I knew you were suited to this task. The magic barrier placed over the city mutes all forms of high magic, preventing Lash from contacting Schillard remotely. He nevertheless remains dangerous. During the times of the previous conclave, I believe he was caught practicing black magic. He faced execution, but that Laos Maravel saved him. All right, I'll look into it. My lord, we know where they are. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful day. Assemble your men and resolve this once and for all. Gather your gear. Kings. We're off to hunt. If you were up to me, I'd stick the dogs on you. Master Witcher! What do you want? My lord, the Right Honourable Count Maravel requests the pleasure of your company. He says it's urgent. Seems like everything is these days. Tell the Count I'll think about it. Okay, first let's do this quest. Let's see what does the count want? It's you. Well, 
What's so urgent, Count? Ah, oh, etiquette is not your enemy, Witcher. It would not hurt you to embrace it at times. In any case, I could not help noticing you circulating in and out of Baron Kimbolt's quarters. Yet I wonder if you are fully aware of the kind of man you serve. What do you mean? He cuts a fine figure, doesn't he? The heavy cloak, the silver mane, the booming voice. Yet our worthy Baron is hardly the saint he makes himself out to be. A lot of that going around recently. I am in possession of certain information that might interest you. Mm -hmm. And you want to share it because? We come from different worlds, Witcher. On the surface, we are as unlike as wraiths and wyverns. Yet, no matter our preferences, culinary, political, erotic, ultimately we both are interested in and tirelessly seek one and the same thing, the truth. Only a fool would disagree. Tell me what you know. I saw through you immediately, Witcher. I'm content I was not mistaken. You are not the sole person to have repeatedly visited our kind-hearted Baron recently. Doesn't seem strange to me, given the time and the place. He has also had some more troublesome callers, blackmailers to be specific. Now, I'm not handing down any verdicts. Perhaps the Baron has some personal problems, in which case I would very much like to help him. Get to the point, Count. My people have learned where these blackmailers are encamped. I assume Baron Kimbolt has not been sitting on his hands and has also dispatched his huntsman to find them. A horrible man. I know who you mean. Ran into him in Kimbolt's quarters. Then you must also know that if you do not make haste, nothing will be left of our blackmailers, save some rotting corpses. I shall show you where they have their camp, and I merely ask that you learn what is at issue. Naturally, you can count on my gratitude, though we both know that is not the greatest reward. I can't promise you anything, Count, but I'll think about it. Farewell. Okay, so let's do this quest. Hey, I'm available. What do you want? I saw you talking to Kimbolt. I'm free to go where I please and talk to whoever I please. Couldn't agree more. Now you're here and you'll talk to me. I'm interested in the Baron. I've naught to say to you. Not good, because I need to know everything you know about him. Baron Kimbolt sends his regards. Oh, just what we needed. Leave us, Witcher. Since when does a Witcher take orders from a Huntsman? Since that Witcher stopped hunting monsters, and started poking his nose into others' affairs. Sometimes the stench is so strong you can't help but catch a whiff. Aye, well spoken. You've some common stinking thugs here, and I'm to teach them some humility. A ponce like you? Pucker up and kiss my arse, you fucking tulip! These folk have nothing to say to you, understand? I'll be the judge of that. Lend us a hand, Witcher. You'll not regret it. I'll need to know everything about Kimbolt. God, this is shit! Enough of your jabbering! Kill them all! Fire and blood! Oh, thanks, Witcher. We'd be corpses if not for you. Yeah, seems likely. Now don't make me regret helping you. 
You're welcome to all we know about Kimball. I'm all ears. We came here to collect our fee, me and my brothers, for a favor we did the Baron. What did you do for him? Spent four days in a forest, sitting on our asses. Baron Kimball wanted to pay you for that. Course not. We was to destroy some wagons in a caravan that was to pass through Millville. Problem is, caravan never came round. I can see why you're having trouble collecting. Kimball had shy information. How is that our fault? That bugger lost us a right lot of time. And you know what they say, time is coin. What exactly were your orders? We was to watch the high road for a caravan carrying nobles. Two coloured wagons and a small escort. The wagons, they was ours. All inside was to perish. Any idea who was supposed to be in the wagons? Two high-born young'uns and their nannies. That's all the Baron told us. Willing to tell Natalis all this? I'm to fess up! They draw and quarter me! You didn't do anything. Took a job, that's it. They can't prove you actually wanted to complete it. If you refuse, Kimbald wins. He'll squirm his way out of this, but it won't end there. The Baron's got gold enough to hunt you till he hunts you down. Not likely. I'll see them tear stripes off his back with hot pincers. All right, I'll talk to Natalis. The White Wolf! I can't believe it! <laughs> One day someone will get you in a dark... Aldrich, Baron Kimbold said you'd point Hieronymus Lash out to me. Perfect timing. Come with me. Where's Lash? Patience, mate. They should be here any minute. Look, there. I've done my bit. Up to you now. We've got a tail. Stop him. Stop there, white one. What if I don't? Then I'll fucking help you! I'd like to see you try. Consider it done! For Natalis! For Fool's House! Enough! You shall die, here and now.
Okay, I'm gonna use Yerden at this spot. So, both counts are responsible for the children. And they tried to frame each other. Now, I want to see if I can talk to them. Okay. Okay, let's save and try anything. Maribel's letters pretty much confirm your claim. The Count is a traitor. What was in those letters? That information is for Constable Natalis. State secret. I'm sure you understand, Baron. I'm impressed by your impudence, Witcher. Rather, I would have been had anyone learned what happened here. Yes, what is it? Nothing. I'd like to talk. Haha, <laughs> amazing. I found the Baron's blackmailers. And? Did Kimbolt knock up a peasant girl, a healthy one at least? Unfortunately, it's a national matter, not a personal one. May I know its essence? As a statesman, matters pertaining to Temeria are of the utmost concern to me. It looks like Kimbold hired this group to murder Anais and Busi. Thank the gods they were only half successful. Hmm. This group didn't kill anyone. The convoy carrying Foltest children changed course. It never arrived where our blackmailers were waiting. I know the Baron. He approaches things comprehensively. He must have enlisted a second group which accomplished the terrible deed. Whichever way you cut it, Kimbolt's a traitor, pure and simple. Oh my, must have hit the old man pretty hard. The Baron doesn't know yet. What are you waiting for, Witcher? Make haste. You must deliver the evidence to the Interrex. Actually, I was hoping you'd do that. I need to tend to some other matters. Knowing the constable, I fear he would look upon any accusation I made with distaste. He could very well assume I was merely trying to subvert a natural rival. He might see the evidence as doubtful, even fabricated. But we cannot allow a traitor to play an important role during the summit. Yeah, I guess we can't. Besides, to witness the fall of the Honorable Baron Kimbold, I don't know if I could bear it. Mm. I gotta admit, Count, your clearly feigned concern for Kimbold, well, it makes me wonder. Yes, I suppose it must. Goodbye, Witcher. Farewell, Count. Fool, I find no other term for you. Did you think I could let you go with that information? I truly regret it had to end this way.
Witcher? Witcher! Forgive me, Count. I lost my train of thought. I'd like to talk. Does the name Brigida Papabrock ring any bells? Rings bells, sets off whistles. Why? I believe my loins have grown warm. Touch my plums, touch my plums. Excuse me. Fruit, Witcher, especially fruit of the south. Tender, juicy, soft on the exterior. That's what I think of when you mention Dame Brigida. The woman is positively obsessed. I was hoping for a straighter answer. A man of your experience surely understands what I mean. Hmm. So you admit you know her well? I know her, I have known her, and I expect I yet will, and I'm not alone in that. Though, mind you, I admire the woman. Her kind of ambition is rare, among both genders. Ever taken advantage of that? Ever asked her to run errands for you? One must be careful with the ambitious. They are almost always running their own errands. Asking them to do yours simply invites them to use you. Baron Kimbolt learned that the hard way. But why ask me about the lass, here and now of all times and places? Surely, given your close allegiance and, no doubt, many a shared drinking binge, Commander Roach has told you all. Commander Roach can be strangely discreet. What do you know? I'm hardly one to tell another man's secrets. Indulge me. Uh, if you must know, the rascal wrote Rogered our dear Brigida, just before he passed her off onto me, among others, with a purpose in mind, I suspect. He'll be interested to hear what you had to say. My, my, aren't we dutiful? Brigida used Baron Kimbolt? Continues to, I surmise. To what end? You cannot expect me to answer every little query that pops into your mind, Witcher. Dog catcher with a hook. There's a traitor among the Temerians. Careful, Witcher. You'd better have evidence if you plan to accuse someone of treason. Busi and Anais. Yes. Oh yeah, we can accuse them both. Count Maravel outright betrayed Temeria, while Baron Kimbolt planned to murder Foltest's children. Those are serious charges. Kimbold hired some thugs to do the wet work for him. I found them, and one's ready to testify. They never got the job done because the convoy carrying the children changed course, only to fall into an ambush set by Merivel. The Count wanted to hand Anais and Busi over to the Nilfgaardians. You'll find the proof in this letter. Busi's death was an accident. Dark clouds gather over Temeria. I cannot arrest them both. Their contingents are among the largest in Loch Muin, and I cannot risk mutiny by their men. Thank you, Witcher. You did well to bring this matter to my attention. I only hope Baron Kimbolt will agree to stand with me. So you see, Baron, I have learned all. And it makes me sick to think about it. However, you may count yourself fortunate, for we've a greater problem to deal with. You shall provide me with your full support as we arrest Count Marival. This plea sounds more like a threat to me, Constable. It is no plea. It is an order. And yes, a threat. Refuse, and the Council of Regents shall receive ample evidence of your crime. Of your wish to slay the children for whom our King gave his life. What are your terms, Natalis? Upon returning to Vizima, I shall destroy the evidence against you. Prior to that, however, I expect your unconditional support. How can I be certain you will do as you pledge? My words still mean something, unlike yours, you lying, rotting son of a whore. So be it. But heed this, Constable. Do not try to cross me.
Oh, ho, nice trophy. I like it. Want me to applaud? It's you! It's a brazen attack. King Radovid will learn of this. Turn away the black cat and the bat. The owl... Get out of there. So okay, so now we need to choose between trees or Temeria or Roach. So let's save. And for now, let's go with trees. Treasure. Yes, Your Excellency. Let so much as a flea slip through, and you shall pay with your heads. Look who's here, the Rivian Witcher. Greetings. Our paths cross often, it seems. Too often. What do you seek here? Triss Marigold. In the Nilfgaardian camp? Fistek has addled your brain. Uh-uh. Lower your sword, son. You've got cheek, Geralt. Let's go. Get One the false commander. move and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency, and I believe you will. Reynold Epmatson's orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you any gold. Then he'll die. No, mark my words. You will. Unless you release me, it's not too late. You're boring me. Pick up the pace. Why do you care for that sorceress so much? Go. Are you in love with her? A poor choice, even for you. That cuts no ice with me. Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Renwald! He who brings me the Witcher's head will get the Order of Merit. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your exit. Orders from the capital. Now I'll have to kill you all. What are you waiting for? Get him! No! 
Lordling! For Nilfgaard! Oh, no, God! Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! For Nilfgaard! Army's ranks are endless! I'm gonna wait for my Viger to regenerate and let's go. Congratulations, Witcher. They were my 
best men. Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? Let's just say we're close. I knew it. You're in love with her. You wouldn't risk your neck otherwise. But you don't know everything about her. What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. How do you know that? From the best possible source. She confessed. And how did you convince her to do that? By showing her the confessions of other Lodge members. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you the Empire's true power. Surround him! Oh no god! For the Emperor! Bring shame to the Empire! Shield bearers, forward! Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. slaughter half the Nilfgaardian army for a friend. I know you're a member of the Lodge, Triss. How do you know of the Lodge? Does it matter? 
I also know the Lodge was behind Demoven's assassination. Geralt, I... I trust you. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philippa's not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. The best laid schemes of mages and men. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. I'd choose the same if I were her. Demavend didn't have a network of spies anywhere near as good as Henselt's or Radovid's. Nor could he count on the loyalty of such men as our dear Vernon Roach. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Cairn's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. If only I'd learned that, everything could have been different. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the Witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edern. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Muin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few orans. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorvith? The Scoyatel were Saski's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do, given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavend's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. 
killing Demavend was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley, people would forget the regicide in a year and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain, Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanid Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. Those Nilf Guardians, that's your work? They followed their leader too blindly. You killed them all? They didn't slaughter themselves. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. Triss. Yes? That was some mess. I wouldn't want to see you hurt like that again. Don't worry, I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right. John Natalis. He is legitimate. So, even the Nilf Guardians have graced us with their presence. Your Excellency, no. We're about to witness a great event. Yeah, I can't wait. Let's go inside. It's now or never. In recent weeks, we have deliberated extensively in Vizima on who is to succeed to the Temerian throne. Because the fate of Foltest's last child remains unknown, we could not reach an agreement. Unable to reconcile the interests of the esteemed Temerian houses, we have no choice but to divide the country into provinces along the Barony's current borders. This cannot be, John Natalis. Temeria stands between Nilfgaard and the North. It must be a strong and united realm. I too would wish it so, your majesty. But when Foltest was cut down by an assassin, the country's very heart burst. I have learned that Anais Lavalette is currently in the hands of the sorcerer Deathmold. Clearly you have yet to learn of the slaughter that occurred today in the Kedweni camp, King Radovid. Yet there is hope if the child lives. I shall do everything in my power to find her. Simultaneously, I wish to announce that the commander of the Temerian Special Forces, one Vernon Roach, is officially a wanted man. All privileges appertaining to him as an officer of the realm are hereby repealed.
to the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thaned Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Marigold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanserville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Marigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanserville will be condemned to death. Sheila de Tanserville, until Triss Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the Conclave. Arrest her. You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about. Witcher. You can't stop me, not you, not anyone else. If I have to, I will kill you. How do you like my dragon? You're late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Senthesis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edurn would eventually choke to death under his rule. 
We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorveth. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Foltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, Yorveth, your stupid little Triss. And you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? But can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. The dragon attacked Foltest's troops during the siege of Lavalette Castle. That hardly supports your tale. We did not control it then. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! You waited long enough. Should you survive, go south, to Nilfgaard, where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher. Damn, you're ugly.
Of course I'm not gonna kill the dragon. Witchers don't do that. You would know that if you read the books. Are you all right? More or less. And the dragon? Let's say it had a hard landing, impaled itself on a tree. Did you kill it? It's alive. You know I don't kill dragons. But Philippa's... In time, we'll deal with her. You know, that could be one of the last dragons alive, a noble and beautiful creature. Let's get out of here. I guess Letho got away. He's waiting for you. Waiting? Hmm. Where the Temerians made camp. Come on. What do you mean, waiting? How do you know? Utter chaos broke out after the dragon attacked. I tried to reach Philippa's quarters. A terrified man approached me in one of the alleys, gave me a letter and begged me not to harm him. He said it was for you. The letter was short. I'm waiting in the Temerian camp. Letho. What happened here while I was gone? All the kings had many more armed men than they should have had at a peace summit. During the evacuation, several skirmishes broke out. The Kedwenis clashed with the Temerians. The Order's knights raped two sorceresses and killed those who dared try to help them. Do you think the Council and Conclave will survive? Well, they're established, and that's the only thing that prevented a wholesale massacre. Hard to say if they'll survive. But for the time being, no one's got any better ideas. Mages are part of this world, whether people like it or not. They have to have their rights, their place. Otherwise, another lodge will arise. Vernon Roach, step away from the child. She's of royal blood, Temerian. Too good for you, Horsons. You're an outlaw, wanted in all the north. Hand over the child and perhaps the king will show you mercy. I piss on Kedwenny mercy. Roach! Triss, we can't let them have her. This is Falta's daughter. I've heard enough, grab them.
Get him! I failed. Deathmalt got away. Thanks, Geralt. Triss needed my help. You know that. The Nilfgaardians outwitted us all. What are you talking about? They kidnapped Triss. The Emperor dispatched the Kingslayers using the Lodge as a decoy. All in order to breed chaos in the Northern Kingdoms. Temeria is lost. The Barons will pick it apart in the bits. It's not lost. Temeria will be reunited. Get the child out of here. Take her far away, far from the kings, their courts and their wars. One day, she'll reclaim her heritage. What about you, Geralt? I'm going after the Kingslayer. A man of his word. It's personal now. Farewell then, White Wolf. I trust we'll meet again in better times. Farewell, Roach. Where's Yorvith? How is Yorvith? Proud, I think. The reward on his head has never been greater. Those seeking him, the Scoia'tael hunters, will be reinforced. The special forces throughout the north will receive more resources. The council and the conclave are assigning several mages to the task. Yorvith is now public enemy number one. They won't rest until they find him. This is no place for witches. Though I know you, and you appear wherever something important happens. True, though sometimes by accident. And this time, also a coincidence? Let's say I have something to take care of. In that case, hurry. Once we're done cleaning up this mess created by the royal soldiery, Loch Muin will be magically sealed. Getting out of here? Temporarily. We shall return soon enough to rebuild the city. Loch Muin will regain its former glory. Until that time, we need to keep the treasure hunters and troublemakers out. So Radovid trusts you? We shall win His Royal Majesty's trust by delivering Sheila de Tanserville and the other traitresses from the Lodge. That could take a while. Sheila's fled Loch Muin, via Megascope. We have time. She cannot hide forever. Sooner or later, she will be ours. Forgive me, I must attend to some matters. And don't dawdle. The city will be sealed in one hour. I can take care of myself. Not this time. I need to talk to him alone. Wait for me at the city gate. If I'm not there within the hour, leave without me. Took you a while? Is that bobble from Sheila's Megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. The one in the Megascope has a flaw. Minute. 
but just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. I let her escape. You're heartless. You've no idea what the royal witch hunters have in store for her. A lot of pain for a long time. I don't doubt it. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. I suppose my throat's a little dry. In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Recovered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The Winter Solstice 1270. Midinvern, the Night of Magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the Hanged Man's Tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every Witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our Witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? She was feverish for several days. Delirious. In agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums. Trying to seduce Ox. Trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, Mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ark, Sarit, and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly, but it was uneventful, no violence. That's how I met Vatia de Rideau, and a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. 
never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. And that's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every Witcher who wears the Viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead, enlighten me. I can tell you want. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the Hanged Man's Tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. Mm -hmm. So elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What did they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. How did a Witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the North come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the School of the Viper. The Witcher's Order, where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the south fell into ruin long ago. And Witchers themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. Besides Seret and Ox, I know of two other Witchers of the School of the Viper who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, and a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way, but if I have to fight you first, so be it. This story ends here and now. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the Northern Monarchs will accuse one another, pursue their God-given rights, seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. 
The North resembles a whorehouse on fire, as your friend Dandelion would say. How did you manage to contact Sheila? It wasn't a problem once I learned of the Lodge's existence. Initially, she watched my every move. But sooner or later, everyone starts treating me like a big oaf. I mean, I can't change how I look. I stayed close to Sheila, killed a few beasts for her, and whined about how unhappy I was, how unfair the world was. So much, in fact that I actually got her gander up a few times. I made sure a few potentially trustworthy witnesses saw us together, could link us. Security in case I was captured. I also prepared to assassinate the King of Kavir. Esterad Tyson was to be the first victim of the mysterious assassins. But before I could do the dirty deed, Sheila asked me to slay Demavend. The gods had smiled upon me. I couldn't believe my luck. Here I'd been trying to figure out how to frame Sheila, and now all I needed was to carry out her orders and follow through. Where'd you get your information about the Lodge? From the Emperor and Vatir Durido, the Emperor's chief spy. And I believe they got it out of Yennefer. She recovered her memory? Nah. I'd never claim she informed on her friends consciously. I expect they found a way to tap into her memory in spite of her amnesia, and without her knowing it. There was a sorcerer present when I was questioned. A young, proud intelligence officer. Whatever the case, they gave me a list of the sorceresses in the Lodge. Only Emir, Vatir, and I were present. Only we knew of the mission. How do you manage to slay Demavend? Sheila's magic. I mean, she could give us the King's every move. His habits, the positions of the palace guards, anything. All we had to do was navigate the labyrinth and land the final blow. Besides, she had plenty of gold for the preparations greased palms abundantly. It had all the makings of a cakewalk, but it's never that easy. We barely avoided our pursuers, and we wouldn't have if not for Yarveth Skyatel, another of Sheila's ideas. With Yarveth's elves, not only did we cut down Demavand, but traveling with them put us out of the Lodge's reach. We could calmly plan fall tests and Hensel's assassinations. How did you know Foltest would come to the Monastery's solar? Yorveth and I planned Foltest's murder. The King of Temeria would have to deal with the Lavalette sooner or later, and he made no secret of it. I was sure he'd want to recover his bastard children in the process. And where do they take the children when a castle is under siege? I had to become a monk, but I couldn't just arrive at the monastery and claim I'd seen the light. Not very believable. So one of Arian's patrols out in the forests happened on a Skyatel unit torturing a helpless monk. Arian's brave men drove off the elves and I found shelter in the monastery. No one noticed you had no wounds? I paid the monk who treated me a lot of orange to stay silent. Actually, it was only a loan. I killed him later. Only the dead can keep a secret. Then all I had to do was wait for the situation to develop. When I saw you enter the chamber with Faltest, I thought I might fail. Luckily, you failed. To recognize an old friend. When did you decide to get rid of Yorveth? As soon as I realized I couldn't manipulate him. A true fox, that one. He was so observant, so dangerous. I got the sense he might see through me at any moment. You made a mistake. 
You were untouchable as long as the Scoia'tael were protecting you. Maybe, but with Yorveth, my hands were tied. If I'd finished off Kiru... But you didn't. And that allowed me to drive a wedge between you and Yorveth. I forced you to flee. And I let you live. You know I could have killed you. You're forgetting. No, I remember. So Sheila was looking for you when she came to Flotsam. Mm-hmm. She thought she was still in control and wanted to get rid of me. I bet my eyes that she thought I'd lost my mind. Or that Yorveth was manipulating me. And the North descended deeper into chaos. Exactly. There was just one problem. You. I could have killed you in the Elven Ruins. Thing is, you weren't really my enemy. Shame you didn't take a shot at Hensel to yourself. History might have taken a different turn. Maybe I would have killed him. Maybe you would have killed me. Who knows? But Hensel's death, although desirable, wasn't necessary anymore. The plan could go forward without it. Besides, somebody else got him. You know who? Come on. We both know. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Wanna fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. Time to fight. Ready? As I'll ever be. You fear death. Stop whining. What does it feel like to be almost dead? I said fight. The wolf has teeth. And they're sharp. I'm better. I can tell already. Of course you can. You tire quickly. I'm tired of your tongue. I don't want to kill you. You're nowhere near my level. Of course not.
The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. In Flotsam, he slew Bernard Lerito, but few mourned for the Commandant. Flotsam remained to Marion, while command of the garrison in town went to a Vizima noble, a sworn enemy of Kedwin and an avid angler. To this day, folk gather round bonfires in Lavendon to hear of the Witcher's deeds. The Witcher witnessed a great Kedwini victory in Edern. At Vergen, Hensel's army crushed Saskia the Dragon Slayer's motley force, ending the springtime of races. Soldiers of the Unicorn swarmed over the Pontar Valley. As it had before, powerful Kedwen swallowed Upper Edern whole. Yet subsequent events would render Hensel's triumph short-lived. After Fultest's death, Tamaria's neighbors began to vie for the glittering prize that was the realm's throne. Yet the murders of first Demavend, then Henselt, forced them to look to their own problems. Tamaria fell prey to its power-hungry barons. But Vernon Roach held a light of hope for the dying realm, and he tucked it away in a place safe and still to await better times. Years before, Geralt of Rivia had witnessed the fall of the Council and Conclave of Mages. The summit in Loch Muin re-established both bodies. Their founders sacrificing Sheila de Tanzerville and her accomplices. Yet Radovid also required humility and loyalty from the proud mages, but this did not sit well with all of them. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this was Witcher 2, Roach Path with Saving Trees. Now, don't go anywhere, because in the next episode, we are not gonna save Triss, we are gonna save Anais. And as always, if you liked this video, give it a like, dislike if you think it sucked, and see you next time. Thank you.